This is a construction site back of me. This is the north side of Union Square. And our our beloved pavilion, certainly where we start our critical mass rise, and so much else, the history of the labor movement in this country, our freedoms. The pavilion is a temple to the free, free speech that we enjoy, at least most of the time, amen? <laughs> Local wealthy people have privatized. They've gotten into the government process. They've stopped us from financing our own changes here, and they've come in with 20 million bucks. A lot of it's mysterious money, and they're changing the pavilion into an upscale restaurant. They're putting trees and various kinds of aggressive landscaping along here so that the sea of people that went all the way to the edges of these buildings for 140 years, that will no longer be a setting for us to exercise our peaceable assembly, to try to make change in this country. We've never needed that more than right now with illegal wars, with, with the, the suppression and oppression that is going on, the destruction of so many families and neighborhoods. We've never needed protests more than we need it right now, and they are systematically making it impossible for us to gather. Amen. They're privatizing our commons. They are taking away from us what we own together. Stop them. It's a pattern that's taking place all across our culture. We will resist. Amen. 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 Somebody give me a bill of rights. Hallelujah here. So this is Thursday night, and we're going to have our fabulous worship Sunday at the Highline Ballroom at 2 p.m. with Reverend Billy and the Stop That Privatizing the Parks Gospel Choir. And this is the beginning today. I went in and just preached a little bit on the steps of the pavilion in that construction side. I'm starting to cook up my sermon, getting our songs ready. We have to resist.